He's off the army in the police chief. Green's bringing him his money now. A hotel called the Perla de las Dunas in the desert. Thank you, Felix. James, move your ass. Obviously, in the first one, he gets his job, but then he meets this woman who he works with, he falls in love with, they run away together, and she betrays him, and that screws him around because he's not used to sort of, it's not the way he's, he's built, or that's not the way he thinks. So he goes after the reason for that, and the reason for that is this organization, which is a huge organization who've got their um, tentacles around the world in, 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 in different governments and in, at high, in the high echelons of government, and they're sort of taking over the world, so he needs to get after them. But he also needs to sort of find out who he can trust, who it is his allies are, and who his friends are, and also just to find out that you know that it wasn't all, it wasn't rubbish that he fell in love. It was actually the truth that he did actually fall in love. Doesn't the relationship doesn't start in in the best way? She tries to shoot him in the head. <laughs> Thankfully, she misses. She's on a, a, a sort of mission of revenge. Um, she's an ex-agent who's. Um, her family has been killed, and um, and she's been left badly scarred by this uh, this, this guy, a guy called General Madrano, and uh, she's after him, and they meet up, and he's not on a mission of vengeance. He's out to get the bad guys, and but he teams up with her, and they use each other to sort of get to the people they need to get to. You told me, you know, two years ago that Mark Foster was going to direct the next Bond movie. I would have been kind of surprised about that, but he. Um, He's, he brought a, a particular aesthetic to this movie that I was really happy about, which was that and making the movie beautiful, but also making it as stylish as possible. Because that, those are the, the Bond movies that I love the most, the ones that have got all those things. Um, so, and his, he loves movies. He loves he loves making movies, and you need energy and enthusiasm like that in a movie like this because it takes six months to shoot. But I'm I, I was a fan before, and I remain so. I'd love to come back and do another Bond. It's a beautiful movie that's incredibly exciting. It's got as much if not more action than the first movie, but it, um, but there's a, hopefully the emotional plot comes through, and in fact, it, you know, you'll get dragged into it and enjoy the ride. That's all I can say. Enjoy the ride.